everyone, it's Heather Nichols, and I have some cards to share with you that I created to express my gratitude to healthcare workers who are out fighting the COVID-19 crisis right now. You might recognize this cute character. This is Mocha Melissa, and she was in a stamp set at Tailored Expressions years ago. Tailored Expressions is re-releasing Mocha Melissa as a free digital download, and I'll tell you in a moment how to get that. I'm coloring her with Copic markers, and you can pause the video to see which markers I used. I did shading on my picture with colored pencils and I have an assortment of polychromos pencils and prismacolor pencils. I'll use Gamsol and paper stumps to blend the colored pencil on top of the Copic marker coloring. We have a very special release that is perfect for expressing your gratitude to our healthcare workers. This is Mini Strips Lifesaver and it includes 10 sentiments that you can use on their own or combine to use on your projects. It coordinates with the Mini Strips die so you can cut out all those sentiments with one pass through your die cut machine. I'll be using sugar cube ink and along with some white embossing powder and my powder tool we'll be doing some embossing. And finally I'm using some heart dies. These are from the Banner Year Love set. All right so let's start coloring the Mocha Melissa image. You can get the Mocha Melissa image in the Tailored Expressions web store. You need to be logged in to the Tailored Expressions store and then go under the Get Inspired tab and you'll see a little section that says free downloads. Click that and you'll be able to see Mocha Melissa along with the other free downloads we offer at the Tailored Expressions web store. I printed my Mocha Melissa's out on sugar cube cardstock. I personally have a laser printer which is Copic compatible and I know a lot of you out there probably have an inkjet printer. Most of those will be Copic compatible as well. You'll want to definitely test that out by just doing a sample color right over the top of the lines and see if they smear or not. You definitely don't have to use Copics to color your images. You can use any of your favorite coloring mediums like watercolor. You could print these right onto watercolor paper. You could use colored pencils or anything else that you enjoy coloring with. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I am coloring mine with Copic markers. I'm laying down one layer of color with Copic markers and then I'm going back and adding details and shading with colored pencils. And then I'm using Gamsol on paper stump to blend the color in. Coloring detailed images like this certainly isn't the fastest stamping technique, but I find coloring to be very relaxing, and especially in stressful times like this, it's something that just takes me away from all of the craziness that's going on. Next I'm going to stamp the sentiments from the Mini Strips Lifesaver set. I'm embossing them in white on toffee cardstock. So first I'll treat my cardstock with the powder tool so that it gets rid of the static and the embossing powder stays where it should. I'm going to stamp the sentiment with sugar cube ink. Sometimes when I'm going to emboss in white I actually like stamping in sugar cube ink. And that way if there are any gaps in the embossing for whatever reason there's white underneath and so everything looks just a little bit more solid. So that's a little pro tip for you right there. Once my image is stamped, I put embossing powder on top of it and tapped off the extra. And then I'll use my heat tool to melt the embossing powder and emboss the sentiments on the toffee cardstock. Once my sentiments are embossed, I'm going to cut them out with the coordinating die. I'll line up the guide squares along with the open squares on the die. I'll tape them in place with some purple tape just to hold everything still. And I'll run it through my die cut machine. I'm adding some hearts to my cards and to make them really easy to stick in place, I'm adding some stick it to the back of Cherry Pop cardstock. Then I'm using the heart dies from the Banner Year Love set to die cut the hearts for my project. If you don't have these heart dies, use ones that you do have, or maybe you have heart confetti or heart sequins that would work as well. 
I'm adding my colored panels to toffee card bases. I did do a line of stitching across the bottom of each panel with my sewing machine. Then once I get those attached to the card bases, I'll attach the sentiments that I embossed with the mini strips lifesaver set. I cut them apart so that they kind of stacked up on top of each other down the sides of the cards. Finally, I'll add the hearts that I die cut with the banner your love set and I'll scatter those down along the sentiment on the side of the card. Since I put the stick it on the back of the cardstock before I die cut it. All I have to do is peel off the paper backing and stick the hearts where I want them on the card. These cards are ready to send to express my gratitude to our healthcare workers. Don't forget that you can download Mocha Melissa. She is a free download digital stamp in the Tailored Expressions web store. You can find other supplies that I use to create this project in the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com, including that brand new Mini Strips Lifesaver stamp set. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.